And we're off. Brian Lee goes straight back to Mitch Allen, back in the side. Also, Russell Saunders took place in goal uh, in midweek. He goes long down the right side. Lovely touch immediately from Stepans. Looking to put Berry on the front foot immediately at the end of it. Mohamed Ahmed looking to size P up. Nice little step over inside. Plays it infield. Edge of the area. He tried to play the ball through there, did Jordan Fitton. Kind of caught, got caught in between two minds as. Do you know, that was, a, that was a real chance that for Cole. And he probably either should have gone for goal or played it a lot wider than he did. He played it inside. Brian Lee in the goal involvements recently. Can he go an assist here? He's flicked to the back post and I think it was Pedro who got the header on at the near post there. He's flicking header. Didn't have too much conviction in terms of a shot but it almost crept in there. Last four games. Ball in towards the back post. Gregory's header. No conviction at all there. He heads out of play for a goal kick. Ahmed might actually get here ahead of Hockenhull. Yes, he will. Ahmed, he's got the pace to get past Hockenhull. Goes down in the box. Referee did really well to keep up with play there. No, no penalty at all. Lays one off to Sam Coughlin. Goes in field to Pedro in the box. Pedro! And clips the outside of the post. And that's the closest Barry have come to opening the scoring. Long ball towards the far side. Good challenge in the end by Sello to dispossess Ira Gooden though. But again, it's given away straight back to Gooden. Here's Ira Gooden, chance to drive. He uses Coughlin on the overlap. Can Sam Coughlin find the ball in and a acrobatic effort from Pedro got not not much convincing contact on it danger still potentially there is Fogarty now Fogarty in towards Lee edge of the area Brian Lee goes down under pressure no no foul he goes long to try and find Pedro and he might do actually Pedro's there he's gone down in the box he well Luttercombe had a handful of his shirt and he might have collided with the keeper as well referee not interested in any penalty though but what a ball that was from Connor Pye to release him. And with this way around. Slide and shine from Gregory almost sent Pedro through. Henry Turner takes a touch and then a bit of a theatrical dive onto the ball there. Stepans now. Rustam Stepans will get on the end of that one. First time cross into the box and Holt has to clear over the Nigel Coates stand and Berry have a corner. For Berry here. Can I get the delivery right? Delivered in towards the near post. Headed from Hockenhall on the bar. Again, Barry have looked dangerous from set pieces. Ben Hockenhall, no, no stranger to goals. Ball down the line to release Stepan. He's back on this right side. Stands his man up. Comes inside. Rustam Stepan's from distance off the bar. I think it did take a nick off of the defender. Referee's given a goal kick. Gooden will get on the end of the flick on from Pedro. Gooden into the box now. Can he dig out across? It's cleared away in the end by Akil. Punched back by the keeper. Still with Gooden. Ball into the box is cleared away. Pedro on the volley and out of play for, well, a corner. Drive the ball forward. He tries a diagonal ball back towards that near side. It's flicked on. Connor Pye will pick, take it down. Connor Pye still into the box. Goes down with a bit of pressure. Back for to Pedro. Over the bar. And that was a chance for DJ Pedro. A bit of space in the box. Lee to deliver the ball towards the back post. Hockenhull's there. It goes to the back post. It's flicked in. Look as Pete arriving. Headed over by a corn defender. So another. I'm surprised they've not put more players in around that six yard box. We'll put pressure on Allen. But again, this will be a difficult one for Barry to deal with. It's going to be Harvey's delivery. That's gone through everyone, that'll play for a goal kick and the referee will blow his whistle and bring an end to a first half that has well, seen Berry trouble the Colton defence who have stood resolutely. Half time here is 0-0 though. Ball goes long early, headed back the way it came by Hockenhull. Bit of head turns between both sides, it'll fall to Brian Lee. He's pass out wide towards Pye's loose though, and Pye, whilst he does get there, has to uh, put a bit too much on that one. Uh, clip a ball into the box, 
which is what he does towards the back post. Holt will get on the end of that one, cleared away by Hawk and Hull. Flag was up anyway, just in the first half, hitting the bar. Thanks for a long range effort from Stepans. Ball down the line from the throw in. Brian Lee will flick it on, try and chase on the end of that one. And he's actually going to nick the ball from the edge of the area now. Lee tries to feed through Gooden, cleared away in the end. Ball in, blocked, but he keeps the ball. Back to Lee. Lee's ball towards the back post, and it comes in! And it is tapped in, and it's Ben Hockenhull there. Clinical from two yards, and Berry finally break the deadlock. 1-0 here. Yeah, good amount of pressure there. Last couple of minutes from Berry. Corner after corner. It was a good ball in from Lee. I thought Pedro was going to get his head on it and hit it into the back of the net, but he didn't really get enough on it. it fell to Hockenhull, as you said. And then the easy task of smashing it over the line and Berry would just put it might have started getting a little bit tense I've taken the lead in this one deliver this one on the near side this ball comes in towards the six yard box header comes in falls to Stepans oh. off the bar Rustam Stepans hits the bar for the second time this afternoon like the way it came by Pi then played down the line towards Pedro. Pedro rolls his man and that's a cynical pull back from Sam Holt. And uh, he'll be the first man into the referee's book this afternoon. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be shocked if he wasn't. That was one of the most blatant pullbacks you've ever seen in your life. Towards Gregory. Lovely bit of feet from Connor Pye to dance past his man. And now he's driving forward as Connor Pye with a bit of pace and intent into the box. Now it's Connor Pye. Digs the ball towards the back post. It's actually gone in! Connor Pye makes it 2-0 as his cross finds the far corner and Berry do double their advantage and Connor Pye is on the score sheet. Berry 2, call nil. I'll be intrigued to see if he tries to claim that as an attempt and goal but that was absolutely across towards that back post. He's just dinked it. I think that's what's called the keeper to be surprised. He's expecting it to be more of a cross and it's just looped over and towards that far corner. And that will hopefully calm things down a bit. Not that he got out of hand, but just to help, um, just to help sort of ease the nerves. Got one nil. You never know. But that was a nice finish from nice run really from Pai. It was a nice cross and ends up straight to the back of the net. McAvoy just moved over to a different position. Anyway, Pai with a lovely outside of the foot pass to Stepans on this near side. Stepans looking to take on Butt. He clips ball towards the back post. Pedro will get his head on it. Danger still there, it falls to the back post, but it's cleared away in the end. Still with Chirera, plays a lovely one too with Fogarty into the box of Chirera. It's Alex Chirera! Good save. Very on the attack again here with Chirera, lovely one too. Pedro's in, it's Pedro around the keeper, Pedro goes down, and it's a penalty. Henry Turner will go into the referee's book for bringing down DJ Pedro there and Berry will have a chance to make it three from 12 yards. They will step up, left footed, rust on step and saved. But it might fall to Pete, another save. And in the end, Henry Turner took one for the team, picking up the yellow card and he saved the resultant penalty. Stepan's been headed by Muirhead. And then volleyed clear by Erland. Pedro will give chase, so will Chirera. And it's allowed to bounce and Pedro might be there but there was May to clear away. Mates and the, and the flow of the game. Well, the free kick delivered towards the back post. Dunn's header, he's going to flick, and it's just over the bar. Yeah, loopy header. He did, did well to get as much power behind it as he did, given that he was going away from goal. Aiming. Jarrett stands over this one. His last corner caused some issues. This one goes in towards the near post. The header might fall to Earl at the back post. He takes a strike, good save at the near post there from Fogarty to dispossess but he loses out too here's McAvoy, bit of unrest around uh, the Berry supporters here as McAvoy has a chance to strike and I'm pretty sure that's Colton's first shot of, their second, of the second half and it dragged wide from Rio McAvoy beat and run against uh, this very big banana skin opponent in Colton, they'll remain bottom of the division ball's delivered high in the air and Declan Dunn will blow an end to this one Berry's unbeaten run continues that's 11 wins in 16 games in the North West Counties Premier Division they keep pressing high up the division they have the games in hand and you've got to feel if they carry on the way that they're going once them games in hand come they will head to the top of the division